is Monday, October 1st, 2018. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public for video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be acting chairman today. Awesome. And we'll start by introducing ourselves. My name is Sandra Simon. I'm Gino Fellini. Rick Madden. Art Edgerton. Paul Plard. And Rachel. Rachel. And it looks like we have mail nearby. If you have a chance, take a look at the no. mail. No, no, there's where's... no mail this evening, actually. Okay. Really? Yeah. Nice. And um, do we have minutes from prior meetings? No, I'm not. Okay. Um, yeah, first, first hearing is in the middle of 710, so we have minutes? to talk. Oh, no. Could we um, talk about, I know we said we have permission to cut Bicentennial. I flagged it twice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, before it turns into a complete jungle, which I, could, I couldn't find the trail. Yeah. Well, we cut down the All big the trees. You cut yeah. down the big trees along the wall. The rest just went through the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Now that you have permission to do that. We also, at one time, it said that if you have to get someone to help commercially to get a price, and that we'd, yep. we'd you know, supplement whatever was there, you know, with a with some commercial, because there's a couple of trees there that are uh, leaning, especially at the beginning yeah. of the property, and. Uh, one Even though the trees are on the private property, they're leaning over a barn our and a house, road, and we've and towards our house, yeah. towards our house too. It is a yeah. danger. And There's we, one so point. We've, we've had permission from the owners that cut the that cut the trees that are leaning. And one of them is a poison ivy tower. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now now my friend John Mahoney um, was the Eagle Scout that did it the second time. Yeah. So you'd be the third one to, to carve out the trail. He did it in like 1989 or so. I, I, no, 85. I was in there the other day, and a guy on on Saturday walked in, came here from Plymouth to walk it. He had walked it before. He says, thank heavens for the flags. He says, it's a little overgrown, but it's still beautiful. He says, carry on. So I was amazed. You know, people you meet uh, in the middle of the woods. I'm looking for your suggestions when you go in there, because there's a big rock in the middle of what was the yep. road. And I don't know whether we can come in around it or whether we're going to want to move it. But that yeah. rock has a plaque, has something. Yeah, it's it. carved Bicentennial Trail right yeah. in it. It's yeah. nice. It's carved. Really nice. yeah. I know there was a re. There was something that that's that was on it. And, I don't see that very often. Anymore. You know, so that if we're going to have to move it, that's going to be you know, and others, we're going to have to be able to pick it oh. up and set it somewhere else. I don't no. think it's too big. Yeah, um, you can lift it yourself. No, you no, and I, no. you when and I was I 18, no problem, but yeah. not now. Yeah, we're no. not going to pick it. You may have been in your younger days. But oh, yeah. This is seen him and Bill picking up the rocks and stuff on the river last spring. Yeah. This, this one was a Crazy. little bigger. We actually had him working on the tow lines. Yeah. We did it. Got him out of the way. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I, we're looking for something in writing so we can move forward. I just don't want to be in the middle of a hornet's nest. Yeah. And I know oh, whenever no, I do anything, well, see, we already we had given you permission it. one to you know, hire somebody, right. and then two if you were going to do it yourself. Yeah, a lot of us, you well, know, see, now, we can have it. It can go two ways. You can do it yourself as conservation people. You can do it yourself as heron people. Yep. In other words, you have a, have right. two hats, so you can <coughs> do it either either way. Both okay. as as or, as. Yeah. Combined. You know, as conservation people, we have a, you know, the blanket to go in and take care of our own property yep. anytime. So from that standpoint, right. you could just go and you know and clean what needs to be cleaned I within walked, within reason. Yeah, I, mean, I walked it when you bring in the, tr the logging trucks and take out six loads <laughs> no, of logs no. and we're well, gonna, we're 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 to say or, about or it, when the that. last beautiful stand of cedars disappear after a cutting in the yeah. late fifties. Yeah. Kaboom, gone. And the, the last thing that we got, they weren't supposed to. Oh. That was yeah. sad. <laughs> but um, I've <coughs> walked it, I've gone and actually followed the trail as much as possible. It's already key ops and signed, you know, put X's yeah. on all the key ops. And luckily that does go down in where we go and there's no dead trees, salamander mm -hmm. areas, it's just briars to go through. So at one point, Maybe a mower would be good, but I just think good old-fashioned to get in there and cut it out yeah. with volunteers. 
yeah, a lot the, of it, and then leave the big stuff to the professionals, obviously, yeah. you know. And again, as long as, you know, what we've always said to anyone that cut, you know, as far as the brush goes, is try to keep the piles low. In other right. words, cut the brush so that you don't have a big pile and it's no. far enough off the road so it's not going to be, you know, interfere with the with anyone coming yeah, in. I try to. I like to leave logs. I mean, if you take all the logs out of the forest, mm -hmm. there's really no nursery stuff left yeah. on the ground. Yeah. And salamanders need them. Everything yeah. needs them to live under. So, mm -hmm. a lot of it's pretty beat up and rotten by now and full yeah. of critters, anyways. Yeah. yeah. But I was I was looking for some um, well, we document can, we can that we could easy, provide. We can easily we give you a. a that way, when somebody walks up, it's like it's legal. I have it, yeah. and I, yeah. I've been cutting for a long time, as you know, with Santa Boni and a few others, and other friends with Bob's Just Birch. If you don't have cutting papers on, it's ten thousand dollars a tree. Oh, well, I'm just grateful you volunteered to do those well, and keep the trails. Well, it's a safety yeah. issue. It's yeah. we get us in and out of there. Yeah. Otherwise, you got to go a mile and a half yeah. through Brooks. Yeah. And if we have a problem, they have a new uh, Gertie. That's beautiful, mm -hmm. unbelievable rescue unit. They'll go right to a a small hole, and yeah. we drag our butts out of there too many right. times. It was an article. In the Turns out, like the SS Minnow, a three-hour a three hour cruise, and yeah. all of a sudden it's eight hours, and it's like, what happened? And where's the water? Yeah. Luckily, I know where this bug spray all, all you know, I know the plants. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll have something written out for you tomorrow. Okay, got it. Good, awesome. It's a pretty place. Yeah. 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 yeah, that clock's just a little slow. Okay, <laughs> 7 10 p.m. ish. This is a notice of intent for 31 Bristol Road, Kelly, DEP file number SE 0561021. And who do we have representing that project? Uh, my name is Dave Newell. I'm with the Mayors and Lancer Race. Okay. Um, currently, out here, uh, Bristol Road has already been built with uh, some minimum tree clearing, uh, tree clearing to get the road in. Um, we are proposing a single-family dwelling with um, a driveway and associated site grading. Um, as part of the filing with the overall, there's already an order of conditions with an SC file number 56978 in which all dry wells, uh, keystone diaphragms, and rain gardens are approved as part of that order of conditions with the overall subdivision here. Um, as you can see, we have the keystone diaphragm on the side and end of the driveway in which all stormwater runoff will be filtered through that keystone diaphragm, getting all the silt out of the water, making sure that it's clean runoff going through the glass stone into the main garden. Also, we have two dry wells already sized as part of that order of condition, in which that will take the roof runoff um, and put it, it down into the dry wells and it will drain them around that way. You can see we highlighted in blue the wetland line and in yellow the 100-foot buffer. And as part of this, the septic design and septic um, components are all outside the 100-foot buffer. This would be the 100-foot buffer. Where, where in the house? Where is the house? The house is right here, inside the 100-foot buffer. The closest point of the house is 58.1 feet to the wetlands, and that is wetland flag A28. Okay. Storage system's all been approved. Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. I think there's a little difference that you might want to think of uh, from this point to here being the shortest point. I think that's a stretch myself. A little bit. Yeah, it does look like this. Um, you hear that's the shortest point? I think from the corner of the house to 127 is actually the shortest point. Um, that looks like a little bit of a, 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 a stretch on the angle. Where? From, where? from this yeah, corner to the driveway. That's not the house. That's, that's the garage. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I got it back with you. Yeah, so the driveway with the piece. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, I'm at the wrong corner. Oh, cool. Okay, nope. That's great. Cause it is. You know how you swing that. It's going to hit. You know, that's fair. You swing the pen. I'm going to do the same. You know, so he's going to like that. <coughs> so that is the closest point. I'm going to stop looking upside down. Proposed silt stock, and I imagine in your 
comment somewhere it says how big. This is the so yes, no. Uh, is this for? What diameter silk sock? Yeah. I, I, sorry, I just haven't read it to tell you. To see yeah. if it Our does silk sock detail is over here. It's it's a, um, Okay, 12 inch clip. Yep, that's what I want to make sure, yeah. Okay. And there's already a silk sock that's been put in place out there as part of the initial order conditions with the subdivision. Okay. And then as part of this, this will be made sure that that's yeah, maintained yeah. throughout. Yeah, it's pretty much this project. Project. It will be getting off. So Where is this? It's this. Where is it in town? Um, this is Bristol Road. It's off of Taylor Street. I'm not sure Street. what that is. That I think it's a retaining wall. More into Taylor sort. Street as you get down towards Elm. Not at all. As you're going down towards Marshall or Duxbury. Yeah, they're coming to the um, Marshall Fair, the back way. Oh, okay. On the left side. Okay, yeah. 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 Did you want to make a comment on this project? This is going to be forward. This is the design that's been in the place for a long time. It goes with built. This is the type of system they put in for the corners that have some ground. Do the members have any more questions? I'm good. Move the doors. We have a motion to close. Second. We have a second. We have to vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Here we go. According to plan, we have normal conditions. Wetland conditions for all that we have a lot of water. What is the real one? Alaska. Alaska. Well, you need to vote on that. On your motion that you just made, yeah. too. Okay. We have a motion. Would you repeat your motion, please? To, to build according to plan with our normal boil plate and conditions. Negative three. With all the other houses. Here. Here we have a motion. Three. Does anyone want a second? A second. Okay, Art is going to second. Let's vote on Bob's motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? None opposed. Can you go on that one, can you say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, You're all done with that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. simple. And we can't start until... A few more minutes. There's 20 passes. Yeah, so I'm going to wait for 20 passes. Yeah, that's yes, someone has to reach up and change the block. We have, we have a posted agenda. It's, uh, Where's that clicker when you need it? I'm not sure. Before we do that, I want to ask, did all the uh, green cards come back? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not able to tell. This is posted. So I'm not able to tell when you're just talking about it. That might want to come. I'll have yeah. the update like one day. It's already a bunch of houses out there. It's a whole neighborhood. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's, it's, it's already been ongoing. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, is this one? It's, it's, it's not pretty. Oh, yeah, it's up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. yeah. Okay. It, it, they they don't want a conservation by it. They can't, you know. Yeah, I mean, they're putting houses there and there, so yeah. it's already yeah. messed up in the first place. Yeah, they're always over. Which pond is it? This is the second one, 15. What pond is that? Pine Street Pond. Sign. That they um, will see in front of the meeting. Yep. And it's not wide. Bob. That's stubby right there. Um, um, That's big stuff. Pinebrook. Right? Pinebrook. Okay. Lower is like that. Lower is related to yeah. 31 Bristol Road. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right of appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. Those three mm -hmm. terminal ponds are running to Marshall finally.
Because it's somewhat Water maintained, area. Yeah. and they have them, they are many sheeting. It's a sheeting pond where it can sheet right. and slow down and then silt, silt in. Yeah, so just like you they have on, on highways. Yeah, these are more flat, though, clover leaves. These are more flat and designed to have it sheet a lot. Yeah. So those are, that's grass. That means it dries out. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looks like leaking again for the gutter runoff, I believe. I will dry walls again. These are the same type of blocks. How dry This is all your square foot for drainage, I'm going to say. Oh, this is a new type. I haven't seen these before. I haven't seen these before. These are new. Tell me about that again. This is a quonset hut with louvers on the side, so this is dows that pressurizes and sprays, and they're really efficient, and they work. And pressurizing? Nice this pipe is pressurized. It's a dow system pressurized. So it'll flow in and squirt and splash and hit all these louvers and, and the bottom, so it increases the space huge that you're letting, you know, water go out, and then it fills up, it goes out. It's a pretty crazy system. It works. I mean, it's, these work really well. Why don't you get a safe bubble filter? So, where does this come from? Here's a D box right there. Okay. That's a distribution box. Yep. Septic tank. They had a bunch of these on the um, copper wood. Okay. D box. Maybe like cement, yeah. some things, maybe four or five feet tall. Right here. Right. Whole, whole but they're going square. Yeah. So you can Those see the metal pull at the end. Oh, really? It comes out of the D box. It just falls out of the D box. It's a full electric system. I mean, instead yeah. of. Uh, this is this? Right. So that's a cross section. Yeah. This one. Gotcha. These run this way. They're long ways. So it's already made. They just take it and. You cut a carrot and you work on this. Let's see. This is kind of a. Especially the second one. That's the use. The top can use it. Infiltration system. See how they look on the side view. That makes sense because some of the, the back porches I noticed have like, um, they never like temporary boards on them holding yeah. them up. So it's just a seepage yeah, infiltration. Actual, it's infiltration. So the, the roof now goes back to the ground wall instead of running off. Front yards are here the back yards. You have to do things today. So when you replace the water in the system, ground water wise. Seeping, not gushing. Right, and into the ground. Literally right into the accurate area. Right, yeah. Look like all the drainage. So it takes this whole room. We went out there in the rain today. Yeah. And it was just look at the drainage off. and stuff, and it looks like and it's all. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Driveway down the road. We've had a couple of little, little breakthroughs, right there. but not no. It's been in there pretty little. That little. comes mm -hmm. from the driveway. It's been taking us a lot better than the night. The water comes off here. Yeah. Follows this flow to this garden. And there's a lot of drainage here. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, let's get started with the 720 hearing. This is a notice of intent for 15 Bristol Road, Kelly. DEP file number SE0561023. Um, who's going to give that presentation? Dave Newhall with Merrill Engineers in Williamsburg. Okay, um, excuse me, Dave. Is there anyone that else that would be like, like to make comment for this hearing? Okay. Go ahead, Dave. <laughs> Again, here. Um, current conditions, we have Bristol Road is already in place as part of the original subdivision in which has an order of conditions, which is SC number 56978. Again, that has all dry wells, um, keystone diaphragm, and rain garden. Again, this is a single family dwelling with driveway and associated site grading. In yellow, we have the 100 foot wetland buffer. With this, the single family dwelling and driveway are and the septic system are all outside the 100 foot buffer to the wetlands and the only portion of the project is the grading here back to the rain garden which was within the 100 foot buffer to the wetlands. Again, the P-stone diaphragm will take all rain water coming down here, all storm water, 
we'll filter the water, get all the silt out of it, and we'll drain it into, we'll drain a nice clean um, runoff into the rain garden. Both dry wells will take all runoff from the roof and drain it into the ground without having it coming out into the street. And again, we have a silt sock which will take all sediment from running off into the wetlands. As I understand it, the only thing that's in our jurisdiction is grading on the back side of the house. Mm -hmm. With the, um, yeah, the yeah. everything else. Uh, you got any questions, Rick? No, this is and straightforward. Moving close. So you don't do have I. any. Oh, we're doing. We're second. Yeah, okay. second. We we have a motion, and it's been seconded to close. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Does anyone else wish to make a motion? Move we build in accordance with plans with uh, normal boilerplate all the conditions we use in all the other houses in here. Okay, a motion has been made. Do I have a second? Nice. A second. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. No. Yeah. Right. I have no problem. Um, please note that any person agreed by this decision has the right of appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. Two minutes to our next hearing. No Conservation Commission will hold one of those right up. Which I don't make it easy. Yeah. Usually let Ricky help me. Yeah. <laughs> it'll come. Yeah. You know, it'll happen. It looks easy. But now you put it back together. It's also, nice. I'm just going to ask, and I know everyone already was asked once, did anyone see a slip of paper in the mail last week with a list of things that we needed to do at Ludham School? Otherwise, when I didn't when it came down no, with the grant took, application, no. a list of things that, that we had to do, it was in the mail and no. we only disappeared. Took, we only took three things. No, Each I, one of the I, cards. I know, we, I know we've had, but I just want to make only sure three. we all... That's yeah. it. No. Yeah. I, I didn't even look at the mail last week. I left and I realized I didn't even yeah. look at it. Yeah, I didn't even see it. It somehow is... It's not a big deal. I can ask them for a new one. It's just kind of embarrassing. Blame it on me. Um, Blame right, me. So I'm the universal culprit. That's these fine. are the two signature pages yeah. for um, the hearings that we just held. Mm -hmm. we, if we sign these now, she can take care of the paperwork. If we don't sign them now, the paperwork is going to sit here at least two weeks just sitting around. Well, because yep. we can't meet next week because it's a holiday. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense today. Yeah. I didn't want to make them wait around. No, it's uh, this is locking at the door to be oh. done before Christmas. Everybody know, wants to have their Christmas tree up in their new home. The four from last week that okay. you guys already approved, you just didn't sign. This is the one we did last week.
I don't think we've ever been this quiet for so long. Getting ready for Halloween. I think the engineer <laughs> I'm exhausted. I found out about this one late in the day. I rejected the print that we had. It's dark out already. That might be good. It's dark out now already. I know. This was the case of this one. The only thing I had to watch the Six o'clock? And we have to at least have eight single staff of either engineer or something. Well, yeah, it's always in the dark. Mm -hmm. hey, well, they, I was to bring up the most busy, 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 well, busy trying to do <laughs> well, like four four things at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that they're doing yeah. this way. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's been a little moldyish years for gardens this year. Horse tail tea kills it all. You can drink it, it's good for your bladder. What is it called? Horse tail. Prehistoric tree now a fern. Okay. Look it up. Don't eat it until you No, look no, it up. look it up. Well, obviously, don't eat anything until you look it up and know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But no, it uh, changes the acid in the bladder better than cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's miracles and oh, okay. the stuff they use in other places to put hazmat suits on. I don't do that stuff. Yeah. If you got to put a hazmat suit on, I'm not interested. I can't see the clock from here, so it must be time. It must yeah, be pretty close. Pretty well. Okay. Let's um, open this. This is a notice of intent for 773 Center Street, Cahill, DEP file number. We don't have one yet. Um, who's here to talk about 773 Center Street? Right. Um, can you come in and just yeah. tell us your name? Um, are there other guests that want yeah, to talk sign. about this? Property owners. Property owners. Oh, well. the owners. Property owners. We all have to sign in. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, Rachel okay. has me signed in. Yes, very good. Thank you very much. Keep me in mind. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. help us all. Oh, okay. kidding me. Thank you. Awesome. Support. Perfect. <laughs> uh, these are the plans you wanted for the uh, yep. existing lot. Yep, absolutely. And then the uh, Sorry, the proposed lot. Hold on, I can show everyone. Show us the house. Right? For the Cahills? Yes. Okay. He's the contractor. Oh. Okay. We've got this roll. Mm -hmm. One. Yeah, that's the that's new one. Okay. This is the okay. yeah, existing is the dotted line, yeah. which is full on that one. And then we're proposing to do just a rectangle. Get it off the property line on both sides. Um, so at this point today, we're about 55 feet now. We'll be kicking it back to 65 feet mm -hmm. off the water. So this will all be gone. And then we're moving. We end up uh, 15 feet on the closest point there. Because mm -hmm. right now it's about 9 feet. That's the pond ditch. Oh, this is the pond ditch. Rick, do you know this is where Wilson, Wecker, and Grace live? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh this is the, the house down, down in the, in the hollow, off of Center Street. In other words, if you come up Center Street, yep. where High Ave goes off, yep. and, but instead of going to High Ave, you go straight down the hill. Oh, okay. It's on the right hand side yep. down there. Nice. Mm -hmm. My mother knew, knew that very well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Funky, what? Yes, very funky. And yeah. what they're, <laughs> a lot of funky. Oh, lots yeah. Of what they're planning <laughs> to, a lot of them. They're planning to tear the old house down. Down, raise it. And raise that old house and build a smaller and one less bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The well, foundation's going in the lot, so. Yeah. I, I can 
Yeah. I vote for that one. Yeah, the foundation. <laughs> I crawl. Oh, I crawl wow. in there. Yeah. 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 This is coming down, and that's going up, or that's coming yes. up, and this is going up. Yeah. yeah. That one's coming down. That's coming down. That's coming down. Oh, yeah. 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 O
Shouldn't be. Okay, so right, should then. we start with sock and everything? Can we yeah. roll with that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's the first thing you want to do. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know, okay. Nobody knows. All right. Yeah. I don't know. You have, you've got to, have you got your permits to dem demolish it? No, yeah. We were signing yeah. off on it. Yeah. yeah. That's when it well, came up to we, get we the conservation. We can sign the demo permit, not the build permit. Okay. okay. That's fine. I'll sign it. Oh, you can. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get the demo. You can go yeah, ahead so with that. Yeah, so at least we can go with that. Yeah. That's That'll fine. give you a couple more days before That's the, good. That's but the bill, okay. will, bill and permit is... Now, do yeah. we have to have... Sign, I just want to get it out. Do we have to have some sort of inspection before we do the demo? Do you want yeah, to see the sock? Yeah, he wants to see it. Yeah, he wants to see it. I just yeah. want to see the yeah. silk sock. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So when we get it installed, just contact... Yeah, con yeah. contact. Just call yeah. the office. All right, cool. Okay. Call Perfect. the office. Thank you. Oh, yeah, call Rachel, do we have to be We have a newbie. We'll no. be honest, he walks no, a lot. He just takes a look and works. We'll, we'll, I like a closed. Right. Well, can have a we I move a closed the pending the issuance right. of the DEP number. Okay. Do we have a motion? Do I have a second? Second. Okay. We're going to vote on Bob's motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? I move that we issue a permit to demo and build in accordance with the plans that were presented here tonight, along with our normal uh, boilerplate and conditions and all, which just negative read them, but I mean, that's yeah. general, general conditions. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, there's a second. We'll vote for it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Okay. Please note that any person agreed by this decision has the right of appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DEP if you need assistance. Okay. Which page, what, it's, what she's saying there is is a 10-day appeal period. Okay. So anything you do in that 10 days is that your mm -hmm. your risk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So legally, we aren't that. giving you until 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. No, that's okay, fine. We just got permission to bring our fish and But because there's so many people here objecting, oh, sure. really yeah. Well, and the about is, you know, anybody yeah. that was, yeah, well, I gotta say, yeah. they what? came yeah. for the other meeting yeah. and they were yeah. all happy because they're like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, good. Very good. Thanks. Thank you. Good. All right, thank you, everybody. Awesome. Appreciate good it. Welcome. Yeah. Good luck. Take care. So tomorrow will be, um, I got all the, the demo permit going. Yeah. Um, Last thing it was for you guys, so we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, thank you right now. All right. You want to sign right now? Yes. Demo permit? Yes, the demo permit. Here we go. Yes. Let's see. A little bit on time. I can probably start that one. It's just a discussion. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Close enough, everybody? Okay. And it looks like we have a discussion from SWCA environmental consultants. Yes. We're patiently waiting here. Okay. <laughs> if, if, everyone, if everyone would introduce themselves, please. Sure. Um, my name is Pat Jackson, and I'm with Sunrays. And this is Vicki Marcus with SWCA. And the, the, the purpose of the meeting, I'll speak from Sunrise's behalf. So um, our group uh, develops, owns, and operates uh, commercial solar farms. Um, and what we do, we actually, uh, when we partner with the town, we do a, a couple things. One, we work with the Board of Selectmen on a um, taxation plan to bring the town tax revenue. and. What I think is more exciting is we, we do what's called community solar. And so what community solar is, we actually invite nearby residents and small commercial um, companies to purchase the electricity at a slightly reduced rate from, in this case, National Grid. Um, and so the, the, the proposed solar array um, that's in front of you, or Mickey's passing out, that, that electricity will actually go to feed um, nearby and also not, you know, further away residents and um, Small commercial um, meters or accounts. Does the power just go into the, the system and it gets? It does. Out from there? Yeah. So there's an existing access road um, in the property, and so we'd have um, some telephone poles put in and just standard overhead wire that would connect to National Grid's um, distribution system along the valley. Okay. 
Have you seen the system they have down at the uh, the old landfill? On I actually Street? haven't. No. And they put maybe like four or five poles at the end and put all the wires going. Yeah, there. that's what you call like the the meter. That's like the meter cluster. So there's like a recloser there for the utility, and there's a primary metering system. Yeah, so eight. What's actually, that? eight poles. There's eight poles. Eight the poles. First one. Oh, oh I see. usually it's usually there's three poles, yeah. kind of that are connecting to the utility. But if it's like yeah, hundreds of feet I away. I know that one there was four. It's four and four. So what's that? Oh, one? yeah. yeah. I don't want to go by it at 50 times. It is, no, they're all wired. <laughs> so first, I'm going to give you some advice. So I'm Mickey. I'm, I'm the wetland guy working with, with Pat. But most conservation commissions don't have hearings at a certain time. You just say the hearing starts at, you know, 7.30 or 7 o'clock. And then you just list them all. And that way you can go from one to the other and you have that way, and then you get home earlier. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, we, well, yeah. we're usually the other way. We're usually well over the yeah. Yeah. time. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. And I happen to be so one, nice the, the one the opposite cool. way. Yeah. yeah, let's put the hours in here. Yeah, all right. OK, well, just in, that, that's how most commissions do it. They just stop yeah. listing yeah. times. Um, so uh, I'll show you some plans. So, so um, Pat's been working with uh, Jen Mathias on trying to, uh, to take her 112 acre farm and diversify it. And so there's like a, a gravel extraction. She's uh, working with Pat and Sunrays to lease about 15 acres of her farm uh, for solar. So it's like a 20 year lease. She still owns the land, but that parcel for solar gets taken out of 61A, is it? Yeah, 61A. Yeah. So, and, and, um, so we, we met with the planning board, got some direction from them, make sure that this can uh, work from uh, the zoning bylaws. Uh, Pat's met with the select board. It'll, it, it's like a tax. Yes, uh, yeah, I was going to say, your, your assessors are going to have their fingers they will. in the middle. You, you actually have to pay back taxes, and then they go forward, and, right. and it's, it's like, like payment mm -hmm. uh, to the town. So. Um, Basically, we're just looking for advice. And I know some of you, Mr. Clark, you know, work you know, in the cranberry industry, know, know the land. Uh, we just want to make sure we're on the right track. We uh, have just done some preliminary design engineering work. We don't have a final plan, and I'm going to show you what we have. Just, we're just looking for advice, feedback. We'll go back to the drawing board and come back in a couple of months uh, with an NOI and, and an application. But we just want to make sure we uh, uh, some of this on bog and then? Yep, That's so one question. of them, uh, there's a, a, a small fallow bog right now, it's a little under three acres. Mm -hmm. uh, they're thinking of using that, and they have a very unproductive bog. They want to use part of that and then go into some of the upland forest adjacent to it, and then they have all their other bogs in the back. So, so uh, yeah. doesn't this, uh, so they own these other bogs yeah. um, back here that are, this is just uh, a partial property. So they own about 112 acres. Um, so these are, we looked at, at doing solar development way back here, but um, that uh, had priority habitat, had more wetlands, decided to just stay out of all that and, and keep it. So, so, so excellent this uh, This far uh, should be lost. You know what we're talking about like the old this, hill for this hill whole water. area? Yeah. Yeah. They're going to take down all so, yeah. so, uh, so, I'd like to just show you uh, acres. Uh, two draft plans. So we'll see and just, just, and, 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 and just take the word draft in mind, because we're, we're just really um, trying to figure out um, what will work here. The, the solar projects on both these projects, uh, one's 14 acres, one's 15 acres, they're smaller than what the uh, interconnection agreement was with uh, National Grid. Um, well, it's slightly smaller instead of larger. Because we don't want to go in the priority habitat. So we're just we're just keeping it in a smaller footprint yeah. and kind of reduce uh, okay. reduce that issue. Yeah. 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 So uh, so on this so you see there's a smaller uh, the smaller area a little under three acres that's a fallow. Um, bog right now, it's not in production. Which one uh, is that? That's this one right here. This one here. Yep. Uh, so that, and then um, the larger area is um, uh, in production, but not 
I guess it's it has been in it's production, but not production. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. So, 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 yeah. so Jen, you know, had, had earmarked that one, um, and to, to use that as a central bog yeah. and, and, and kind of expand also, it a little bit. Right now, um, it's a cranberry bog. Right. right. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to end up with the same kind of. They're not going to move these trees, or they are for this process. So, so that's so, for the gravel removal, which is that. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain if you if you'd like. So yeah. this area right here yeah. is in gravel removal. Okay. It's yep. pumped down yep. and. Yep. They're doing that. So, so, so one of the things about the site um, is that there's an existing access road to Valley. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to do existing no. access. The reason that there's a, a space no. between the no. two no. bogs is bet uh, between the two solar arrays is because it gives the farm access, you know, continuous route to the back of their property. Right. So we don't we don't need to create a road. It, there's no houses nearby. There's no, no um, it, 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 it's a good site because it's interior. We, we don't have to deal with like neighbors or or all of that. Um, so, do you want me to go through that a little bit? So, there's a house here. Yep. Yeah. Um, rain garden. Down so, here. there's a wetland here, which we basically and yeah. there's a road in between. Right in between the access. There's no forest cutting needed between here and yeah, this yeah. house because yeah. it's all on the north side. Mm -hmm. So. So it's all, this is just all existing. Part of yep. it's a parking lot for the maintenance building. Yep. Um, and, and then this the uh, fallow this block. Um, this larger area, um, part of it's uh, in bog. And then you can see that it's expanding a little right. bit. Yeah, from the old bog. Yep. Yeah. Um, what, uh, and, and, and you know, there's wetlands and, and, and all of that. What we're trying to do is keep the um, wetlands are good. Uh, let me just show you. This one's the, this is new, isn't it? This is the new uh, new er. It's not a production at all now. There's no there's no vines there at all. But it was it was something they were working on before. Yeah. 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 That's, so, this is the garage right there. Yeah. <coughs> this is what we have Rick, if you get yeah. into this corner. That's Blackbird. This is yeah. uh Doug Laterno's house. You know where Doug is yeah. living? This yeah. is Doug is living right here. Yeah. Yeah, Blackbird, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm going to give you another one. This is a, a slightly a similar plan, slightly larger. That, so there's a pine forest to the south. But, but basically, just trying to look for areas that respect wetlands and buffers, um, stays away from neighbors. Um, so, so this yeah, one's similar. Um, just the one the dog over here. So, so one thing I just want to explain here. is that um, you, you mentioned the landfill solar project. So the landfill one, I haven't seen that, but it's probably concrete ballast on top of the yeah. landfill. So um, for most projects, including all the work we've done on bogs, you don't do that. You just put a driven post in the ground. Yeah, you're not trying so, to cover up any kind of... No, you, you just waste. leave it. You just leave the ground surface. So you basically you just take a a, a, um, a metal post. Um, you either screw it in or drive it in. You leave the ground surface, and then the panel sit three to four feet above the land surface. So then the idea is that when you decommission this right. in 20 plus years, you just pull it all out, and it, it's gone, and then they can put it back into ag or anything else they want to do with it. Uh, now, do they do soundings to see if they're going to sink? Or, uh, they do. They, they do. They, they, <laughs> they, they <laughs> test wells and all that? They, they'll do uh, geotechnical borings to see so. how deep. Um, so, so, like this site, I, I just did hand borings. It's sand, obviously. Um, so they're going to decide whether it needs to go like six feet or eight feet right. or nine feet. They, they, they just determine the depth right. of the, the metal that goes to it's driven in. But yeah, above the ground, material for the for the base to compression. Exactly. And it, well, there's no compression because it's not um, it's not the landfill cap. So they they're just going to drive a post in. Right. It's still going to be on something. There is compression under that post. That's that, that's true. Gonna hold it up. I mean, you're, you're right. That would be you're holes right. it. No, you're right. I'm not trying to. You know. Yeah. So you, in other words, you're not on a bog that is going to sink in because we have right. some 97 foot deep, deep bed no, bogs. No, don't do <laughs> that. Not recommended. No, and, 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 and some of the, and depending on what they find, um, you know, they may do um, a screw anchor. Um, right. yeah. They'll do that. But the idea is that you just have a, a rack above the surface 
um, it all gets wired, and then, uh, like Pat was saying, the poles go down um, the existing driveway. They connect into the existing wires on uh, Valley. Cool. So uh, what what we like about this site is that um, it's going to be away from the neighbors. Um, we don't have to build an access road. It's got all the drainage you could ever want out there. And um, we don't have trucks running on Valley Street. <laughs> I, 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 well, we heard from the yeah, we've board fighting, that that's, yeah, that's uh, just, just you know, we've oh, been yeah. down. It's been four hundred trucks a day. Uh, so, so um, yeah, you know, the, the planning board asked uh, Pat uh, about construction schedules. So, the total on this is uh, what would you say, four months? It's, it's four to five months, and uh, I'd say the month uh, one to two and a half is when you have trucks coming in to get the racking up. There's no real site work needed here, um, and so I could be overshooting that number. It might be more like three to four months because it's a really nice, clean site. You don't have to pre-drill. Um, and then after that, it's really just a bunch of pickup trucks doing all the electrical wiring, which you can reach. You don't need to bring in lulls or, or booms or anything like that. Um, and then as far as after construction goes, once the system is done and completed, um, it's extremely passive, so you, you might have a pickup truck, maybe two um, in there like twice a year. The first year, usually you're kind of diagnosing bugs in the system with the inverters, but that's a, that's a pickup truck. And then after that, once uh, it kind of gets steady, then you it's about once every six months to do preventative, um, like inverter cleaning and stuff like that. So it's, nobody really notices it. It's pretty much out of sight and out of mind. I'm going to ask some, what to, to me is stupid questions only because I know the answers, but so it gets out. Uh, you're not going to you, they are not planning to harvest the vine that's underneath these panels because that has been thrown in a few times. Uh, this, yeah. I know this vine is not anything that anyone wants to harvest, but I just want to throw that out on the table. But, yeah, uh, you, you know, we actually have been considering that, um, and, and, and we don't have an answer yet. Part of it has to do with the design and how yeah. far the yeah. racks are apart from each other, but that's actually something that we're considering whether to uh, put the panels in but leave uh, and, and harvest the vines in between. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah that's, so we, that's we done. Done. Now I'm going to ask another question you only. Give us a good vine, again, though. I've, you know, I've had some cranberry experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <laughs> More but, than we uh, have, And so. I've been all for this, but just two weeks ago or uh, three weeks ago, we were in a, out in the field with DEP people on another matter. And they were talking with one of the engineers out there, and big ears, I'm listening. And it was about solar and bogs. And the little bit I could get was, it looked like DEP was um, hindering the operation somewhat. Mm -hmm. and But I didn't get enough of it to get the full picture. I'm wondering if you, are you running in the problem with you? I thought for a while they were all for this. You know, they, they are. Um, so so there have been a couple that we've permitted in Plymouth. Um, the one issue that, that we have right now is that uh, some of the bogs are listed in the DEP wetland change as part of the bogs were wetlands and they've converted it yeah. to, oh, yeah. to bogs. And then DEP says, well, that area really is still a wetland. So. Uh, on this property, um, none of these areas show up in in yeah. the DEP as wetland or change. So these are like clean from clean that end. Clean or upland, either one of the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, okay. and, and I think the idea is to keep the grading the same, keep the land no, surface yeah. the same, no. and, and then eventually they can revert back you know, to any these, kind of land. These look good, but when I was hearing yeah. that, I'm saying, oh, what are they doing now? Uh, they so, so happened to mess up something that was running. Fairly yeah. good for a while. A great deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, a great he, deal. so here's a question that we have for you. Um, and, and again, we're, we're really in the preliminary. You know, these, you know, when I say draft, you know, we haven't done the final engineering, haven't done the final surveying, the stormwater evaluation hasn't been done yet. Um, shade is the enemy of solar. Okay. So on this smaller little array, the area to the north, no trees need to get cut. It, we just leave all the forest there between, like, there's a house up here. Um, we just leave all that. Um, to the south of the array, we've got wetlands and pine forest. Um, what we would normally do 
is um, cut the trees south of the array, but leave all like you know um, the ground cover, the shrubs, even small trees. Hard brush, basically. Just, no, just act, we don't need to do that. Just no. we actually just select out the tall trees, all right, the small so you leave stuff. Leave the hard brush. Yep, exactly. But how yep. far off the arrays? Uh, well, as far as we can go trees. without going into wetlands. And so I, I guess my question is, what kind of buffer zone should we leave in the planning? So, so for instance, so we have for cutting of trees. For cutting of trees. Well, well, we have a. We allow it cutting of trees up to the edge of the of the wetland. But we also have a setup where every time you cut a tree, we want someone, either you or someone to plant three, or put in some cash money to what we call our, our tree account, which in turn we use to put trees yeah. where we think they need to go yeah, in town. Okay. So I think uh, again, as cedars. long as we're cutting okay. the North Atlantic the tall oh, trees okay. and not the underbrush, we're not really disturbing <coughs> our ground cover oh, or anything yeah. else. Then yeah. I think there is, we could easily work out a situation for, that would be suitable to you and to us. Yeah, that's great. Are all trees um, in the way, or there's no, like so, so, we'll just say there's a couple of like big dead trees on tops or of them. Could you leave? Could you leave those for bird habitat and things? Like we, can, that? we can, we do do that, yeah. Okay, that, but, but that's so, good, you do do that. Yeah, so so for instance, but, like, uh, like, like, you know, this little, like, finger here, so you've got, you know, wetlands in here, here's a 100-foot buffer zone. Um, yes. there, what what the, kind of an angle, I know, from yeah, your, like, I would imagine, anyway, I'm not putting one. your panel there for you, but <laughs> from your panel, Towards the sun, there's yeah. got to be some sort of. I mean, so degrees. do yeah. you, you know, yeah. for every foot, you, it's a, we do a foot, or is it, is it one to one, or is it we two one feet. one two? Yeah, yeah. I think it's was it. Uh, so it's so 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 about, about three to one. Here. So, so, um, so if you have, um, if you have um, a hundred yeah, tall, tall, tall so, yeah. pine tree. Right. So. It will cast a shadow the pine trees up are to 300 feet yeah. yeah. in the middle right. of the, win and they they the, the yeah. winter. And I think it's on the winter solstice. So they can stand some shade. It doesn't have yeah. to be 100% yeah. clear. Yeah. But, but right the, the, yeah. more the trees are going to so grow, too, too. I mean, right. you know, all yeah. the time. So mm -hmm. yeah. it's sometimes easier to do it the first time around than it is to yeah. get five or seven years and the trees are really bloomed out because now you've front thinned them out and now they're really excited. Hopefully they don't fall off. Yeah. How do you? calculate this this deal with trees and like do we count the number of trees do we just come up with a dollar so amount how, how, well it could well, be one, we can one be equals worked. the other it, yeah it can be worked almost any yeah, anyway we haven't got it some it isn't in cement okay. yet but, but I mean we're we've been talking to local owners property owners and telling them on a three to one basis and we've been giving them a a real deal that you know every tree is worth ten bucks, so you can either put ten bucks in the kitty or three. Yeah. Now we've been looking at maybe ten isn't all well, we I should would. get, but we haven't debated it to the point of do okay. we want to yeah. try to make a lot of money, or we just want to try yeah. to make sure our fund to yeah, replant could, could is, replace the trees. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so one of the things that you, that just three so one. so you understand is that. Um, Patrick and his company Sunrays yeah. would lease the land. They wouldn't own the land, so we don't have the ability to plant trees on somebody else's property. Right. And, and 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 I know you know this story, but you know uh, Jen's husband Jeff died exactly you know three years ago today. So part of the rationale for this project is to give her in effect a long-term annuity. So so his company pays her basically a yearly rent. Yeah. She controls the land, owns the land, but she gets some income for renting the solar. So that, that that's that's where yeah. this is coming and from. And I would imagine, I mean, the the eastern pond they've they titled before, yeah. probably shortly after he passed Jeff's pond. I would imagine they have some projects that they would love to kind of memorialize yeah. and West. But I'm sure there's still going to be tons of excess. Well, a lot of excess trees. I don't know how many trees it'll be, but 
I imagine. Again, it's it's about when you cut them here. We, you know, you put them in the fund, and then they do get planted. I can yeah, tell and you and they do get planted. People are eager to plant idea. trees in this town. We we did yeah. that uh, you know. in in Lancaster. They had a very similar program. We built a solar project. Uh, we did some tree cutting. Um, uh, the solar developer and the town came up with a dollar amount, and then they just used that yeah. for their uh, yeah. Well, that's right. It could be a, 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 on we a bigger project. Like this could be a group. Yeah. 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 I, I, I say I think yeah. it's something as far as a tree cutting is something we could work out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with it, especially where we're not, we're we're clear cutting only the big trees and leaving the yeah. the underbrush, yeah. which right. is really what right. we're looking for for the most part. And and the further you get like away, that. yeah, the more that, we can leave up. That, exactly. That's why I was right. looking that's, at the at the plant at the plane. Like, ah, there the, you go. Do you have a top one? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. Do you have a just top some? We do. We do. do. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 top two thirds. And you're right. It is an angle. So oh, closest to the solar project is it's it, down. It's yeah. down, and then as you get further away, it, you can top them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I heard you talk to somebody else about no silk fence. You want silk socks. Uh, is there any other advice that you would give us so we don't come in from well, day one? Yeah, we, we don't like silk fence. Yeah, right. heard that. Right, I it mean, just doesn't we, work. We, we prefer either, we prefer a silk sock now, but hay bales are still accepted. Okay. You know. Silk but socks easy silk, to remove. The, the silk fence, now, and again, just so you know, we've, we have a lot of contracts, engineers will come in with plans, and they'll put both the silk fence and silk sock. Well, I, I really don't care about your silk fence because it no. falls down. It doesn't help. No, it's just a pain in the neck. Right. Yeah. No, but they are, they come in and put both down, and it, you know, it's their money. But yeah. that's not necessary. Uh -huh. yeah. Is there any other nice things that you like, don't like? Any suggestions? Well, if you have low areas on the silk sock or bales, just up, more silt sock is just upland grade. You know, three inches of chips just to make sure it doesn't blow under yeah. in a low area, things like that. Yeah. Maybe double stake a low area, yep. but double hay bales, just yep. use your common sense. Okay. Yeah. If you see something okay. that looks like that, towards it's And again, go. I don't believe you're yeah. going to be no. kicking up much. a whole lot of yeah, I don't think yeah. you're much so much anywhere in there. I mean, you're, yeah. you're, you're doing minimum amount of ground right. Yeah, maybe a small amount, yeah. Um, just good for everybody. Yeah. Would, would you recommend that we like do like an RDA or an ANRED first? Should we just go to a notice of intent for the work, or how would you like to see that permitted? Well, you mean RDA for which the, purpose? For, for the wetlands around. For wetlands. Or, well, or you know whether you, you can if you do it with a, you, know, you can do it either way, we, but but a notice of intent with the wetland line usually will okay. suffice. So we're not. I don't think we're fight, going to be fighting a, a wetland line because we're not doing a, yeah. a whole lot with yeah, it. I mean, not. it's uh, yeah. it's pretty much where it is, and Walk we'll gently. work with it. <laughs> yeah, right. and, and and that's one. what we do with most towns yeah. with yeah. solar projects. Yeah. We just file the line. Just want to make sure yeah. we do yeah. what you guys want. Common sense. We use. Okay. Yeah. This oh, thank one, you. The less, the less it's paperwork, the better. It's, it's, it's still agree. just preliminary. This not. What's your size limit on the solar field? Yeah. So I'd say about. 40% more is kind of the max. Okay. And so you do much smaller ones? Uh, yeah, a good bit smaller, yeah. I mean, they they do come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> so, so, how do you say, so, so uh, they do an interconnection study with National yeah. Grid. So uh, the capacity that this property is able to support is actually much larger than this plan. Yeah. We just didn't find that there was enough suitable land yeah. To build it, right. Yeah. So, uh, so what you know, what Sunrise wants to do is in, in this area just you know maximize um, yeah. what we can build, but um, it'll be a smaller project than the feeder line on Valley Street can support. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that common sense doesn't always <laughs> enter into all of these sort of things. So when we're talking okay. about rare habitat we're just and some of those sort of things. The turtles know how to read. Yeah, the girl can run around <laughs> under the solar. I mean, it's, you know, I'd have Look to see the what the rate was, but it kind of seems foolish that if you have area you can use that something like a, the turtle not being able to crawl. I mean, you can crawl right under that but that thing just as easy as not. Well, they, 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 they like it. They yeah. like the shade, actually. Yeah, yeah. Do, no. we do with the Are solar. these um, going to be fenced? 
Yeah. They are. So um, the, they the state to, requires yeah, right, right. that That's you have to fence to take kids out, so they're seven foot high fences. But with turtles, what we'll often Tortoises. do is we'll, we'll raise it six inches above the ground, mm -hmm. so the turtles, if they want to go in and out, I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that with this project or not yet. It, it, there are happy you, you probably well, haven't seen it, but on these uh, Route 14, yeah, just down the road, we have curbing set mm -hmm. on a 45 yeah. degree angle mm -hmm. because ah. we have turtle areas now. And there. tortoises. The turtle can cross the road. What are your turtle crossing signs? Tortoise <laughs> crossing signs. Yeah. So, what happened to the tortoise? Did we call someone a turtle? Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. Does anyone have any more questions or comments for the gentleman? Uh, I don't know if you have any. I don't yeah. know if you're for this. Okay. You do, Gina? We have, yeah, there's two prints here. One shows a little more it's about an acre e larger. extensive yeah. uh, cutting of trees. It does. Yeah. 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 So that one's actually yeah. cutting trees. So that means you ha would have to come yeah, back even further. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so, um, so here's like the hundred foot. We, we kept it yeah. out of a hundred foot that, buffer this zone. This is a hundred yeah. foot yeah. buffer zone. Yeah. But but there we go. but but okay. there'd be tree cutting in there. And and, and honestly. We just need more survey okay. and more work. Yeah, so right. These are just some concept we'll ideas we'll that we are yeah. we're developing. I'll, I'll get cool. a pack. Yeah. Is that Gino? Um, yeah. And do the gentlemen have any more questions for us? Did you want to ask anything about how often meetings are, advance notice, and things like that? No, we have all that. Okay. Yeah. Right. You guys meet every two weeks, yeah. usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something okay. like this, if we had to? We're a couple of months away, mm -hmm. so it, just the, this is coming yeah, later, yeah. later in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How long does it take to build this? Uh, it should be between four and five months is my hunch, maybe yeah. a little sooner. But Are, are these going to have cross members along with poles to support? Are they, like, yeah. I've seen a few of those. Like yeah, you call them purlins. Yeah, those are great. Just they're, like yeah, a roof. They're, they're rock solid, they're really yeah. strong. Just like a roof system. Yeah. What, what do you do to clear any any grass or brush or whatever the, uh, the plantings that grow between them. Do you yep. chop them down? You do. Yeah, you, you mow them. The mow, the, you know, cranberry... Is there room between them to mow? Cranberry bogs act, are... Well, they, they're going to act a little differently, so we'll kind of see. We, we actually we have a project in Carver um, on a cranberry bog as well, so very similar to this, and grass hasn't grown up yet. So we're not sure, but, you know, if this was in a normal field, it would be once, maybe twice a year. You just bring a, a mower through it and bring it down, and you do use like okay. a, yeah. a a wild. Uh, what kind of seed mix is it usually? It's like usually fescues. Yeah. Uh, th on this plan, we show the row spacing 12 feet in between. Yeah. So usually they get a mower in between, then they weed whack around the post. Mm -hmm. They usually do it at least once a year. The idea is just to keep any weeds or woody plants from getting established and growing up. So it's usually a once a year mowing. So in 20 years, the only thing that'll be there is invasive. Well, actually, um, the, turtles. The, the tortoises. <laughs> it'll be up. It'll more more be drier. It'll be a little drier. But um, the point I was making is, as a bog, you know, anytime you have a European invasive swamp maple problem, you just put it when it's in bloom for 10 to 14 days, and it's gone. Huh. No chemicals, nothing. That's cool. So you can prep bogs that way. Well, yeah, I mean, usually the, the lowest edge of the panel is somewhere around, like, 28 to 36 inches. So, you, you know, theoretically, that would be very doable. Just saying it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you thought about, like, what's going to happen maybe 12 years from now? Is this going to be all new technology? Would you ever take those out and put in new ones? Or are you just I them? don't, uh, I mean, theoretically, you, you could. Um, the hard thing about it is, you know, the panels are made to last, like, 30 to 40 plus years. And so you, at that point, you'd have to do a bunch of different, you know, cost-benefit analysis. And it also, there's a lot of voltage change that happens over time. And so, like, they, they used to be 1,000-volt systems, and now they're, the ground mounts are 1,500 volt, and the utility needs that info. So if in two years or 20 years it's 3,000 volts, that would have a domino effect of what the utility would see, and they'd have to restudy it. So. It's conceptually simple whether it actually makes sense. But wouldn't that be more of in the boosting end of it that they come up with technology and that would still be viable? Ideally. Don't you think that, and that they might even retrofit it and maybe give it another 20 years where you said they're 40 years. Potentially, but it, it, it also then takes I mean, into consideration how Massachusetts and National Grid specifically treat 
solar. So like you always fit into these incentive programs. Oh yeah. And so you know, if in twenty years this incentive program's over, what happens at year twenty one? If nobody knows, then probably nobody's going to be swapping equipment out because we don't know. So we'll get some right. cheap solar panels. Huh? There'll be a lot of uh, yeah, quality recycled solar yeah, panels. There you go. Good tables. That's what we use at our office. Really? Yeah, they're really light too, right? They're perfect, actually. Yeah. yeah, they're beautiful. I think. Does your light make electricity? I wish. <laughs> Those lights make yeah. It's, it's a feedback loop. Maybe we'll get it like uh, the with the car. You pay it off, and then you have a chance to buy it back. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. wondering what happens. Like, really, why would you scrap it if it's working after 20 years when it's built for 40? You probably won't. You know. That's what I'm saying. And so if all. the land doesn't change hands and they wanted to re-up this contract, there would probably be some sort of a contract they could get right. and it would stay there. That's what I'm trying to yeah. hope for. Hopefully. Okay, that's another question. What happens if she wants to sell land? Is that, in other words, I know you, legally you must come or all of that, but yeah, so in other words, the land can be sold. Exactly. The yeah, new owner has the same basic... Deal. Exactly. Tree, like we put solar systems on commercial rooftops, also, and and we never encumber the, the that then building owner, the then landowner, that they have to stay as the yeah. landowner f for eternity. Just the only thing is, whoever comes in to buy it has to use that same. They have to assign yeah. and respect the contract. Yeah. yeah. And so we'll like we'll record so it could be our our lease premises. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be a recordable interest. And the banks need that. The banks need to make sure it's recordable. Yeah, right. Trust the mortgage payment. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks like a, a doable project. Yeah, and one way. Look, I think all we're looking for is to make sure we cover what. Yeah, and you you know what we have to cover. Yeah. So yeah. I know back, you have a lot of expertise yeah. in this area, so we'll follow your lead on uh, yeah. how to best manage it afterwards. Yeah. Good site. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Good all right. Thanks for all your yeah, feedback. You. Awesome. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. you as well. We'll be seeing you guys in hope in two months. Right. Yeah. Cold. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Sorry about our hectic schedules. No, you guys are great. Yeah, that'd be great. You, got, you guys are going through three notice contents. <laughs> We have a motion to close. We have a motion and a second for the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nobody's opposed to ending. Okay.